For years, IT pros and end users alike have created Windows password reset disks using CDs, DVDs, and even old school floppies. But it's the 21st century, and these days there's another option. I'm Bill Detweiler, and during this episode of TR Dojo, I'll show you how to make a password reset disk on a USB flash drive. USB flash drives aren't really designed to be permanent storage media, but that doesn't mean you can't use them for a Windows password reset disk. As long as you don't subject them to significant physical damage or surpass the manufacturer's recommended number of write erase cycles, they should hold their data for at least a decade, which is more than enough time for most users I've encountered. And if you're using a machine without a floppy or optical drive, Using a flash drive is better than not creating a password reset disk at all. Now before I show you the process, let me give you two caveats. First, I'll be using Windows 7 to demonstrate the process, but it should also work on Windows Vista, although the exact steps and screenshots might be a little different. Second, this process only works for local accounts. You can't create or use a password reset disk on a domain account regardless of whether you use a flash drive or not. With those caveats out of the way, let's start the process by reformatting your flash drive. Just make sure there's nothing important on it first. Insert the drive into your computer and wait for Windows to give it a drive letter. Right click on the drive in Computer and then select the Format command. When you see the Format dialog box, just click the Start button. Now that the drive is ready to use, Click the Windows Start button, type User Accounts in the Start search box, and click User Accounts in the Results panel. Once the User Accounts window opens, locate and click Create a Password Reset Disk from the Tasks panel. When you see the Forgotten Password Wizard's welcome screen, read the information and click Next to continue. Windows should then prompt you to choose the drive it will use to create the disk. If it's not already selected, pick your flash drive's letter and click Next. When prompted to enter your password, do so and click Next again. As soon as you do, you'll see a progress bar. Once it has reached 100%, click Next to reveal the forgotten password wizard's final window. To complete the operation, click Finish. You can now click the Safely Remove Hardware and Eject Media icon, choose your USB flash drive, and then when prompted to do so, remove it from the computer. Just remember to label the drive and put it somewhere safe. The last thing you want to do is accidentally erase it the next time you want to transfer a few files or give it to someone else by mistake. Well, that does it for this edition of TR Dojo. Thanks to Tech Republic blogger Greg Schultz, who put this tip together. Now, for complete details on how to use your new password reset flash drive, check out Greg's blog post on the subject. I'll link to it from the TR Dojo blog. And as always, for more teachings on your path to becoming an IT ninja, visit trdojo.techrepublic.com. Sign up for our newsletter or follow me on Twitter. Thanks for visiting the TR Dojo. When you see the forgotten password... <laughs> <laughs> I made myself laugh. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Forgotten password wizards welcome. Forgotten password wizards welcome. Forgotten password wizards welcome. There we go. Okay. <laughs>